there we go. Now it's fucking working. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Kind, kind of done, done again. again. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Got done. Count again. Give me the gut. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Grab a drink and cheese them tits. Welcome back to the Gentleman's Den. Jeff, Sean, and Frankie here. Another Quarantina edition. Oh, yeah, fellas. How are we doing this week? <sighs> Great. I'm so happy. <laughs> so happy together. I wish we How was that? How's my tone? This is an Spot on. acoustic setting. A little, <laughs> little pitchy. Mama I'm very much at all the songbird of our generation. I'm just yeah, saying. You know, Fergie and Jesus, bro. Fergie. A mix. Like, like if they were to, if they were to like fuck while having sex and had a baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> still the greatest. You, that's, <laughs> still the greatest. That would be good. If you haven't heard uh, Fergie's uh, national, national anthem, anthem, go ahead and Google, Google that. that. Don't do that. <laughs> Just don't do uh, that. Fergie sings, sings the national, national anthem. anthem. It is one, one of the greatest, greatest things you've ever seen. seen. I think she had a stroke. I don't know. Hey, how, how dare, dare you? Go, go ahead, Sean. Go ahead, Sean. Sean. I'll give it to him. Is that the, is that is that the, the Rick Flair? In a spaceship. That would be the Ric Flair today. <laughs> that's a fucking Gatorade. That's... Give it to right. God, you know the whole spiel. That is the limousine riding, jet flying, kiss stealing, wheeling, dealing, son of a gun that kissed all the girls and made them cry. The nature <laughs> oh, boy. Ric Flair. The goat. The greatest Woo. of all time. Let me, Let me get, get a woo out of you. Woo! Uh, All right. Say, you, you calmed the dog. You didn't want to wake, wake your dog. dog I mean, woo. <laughs> he, he, he looked over at me like, you motherfucker. Like, <laughs> He's like, bro, you don't want to around here, bro. You, bro. I like, I like your, your shirt, shirt but <laughs> keep it casual. I like your shirt, bro. We won't, we won't talk about Jeff's that. shirt right now. <laughs> so, so my shirt, shirt we'll, get we'll, get it, it, we'll obviously get into the Last Dance documentary. The Last Dance. 1998 Chicago Bulls, but I have my jersey. This is my jersey from 1996. A champion size 40. And then it's barely <laughs> hanging on. <laughs> Two, Two and, and three. three it's like it's pushing together. together. <laughs> Shit, it's a little oh, God, God, please, please don't, don't go, go back. back. No. 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 <laughs> no. no, I don't. Oh, don't tell it to me out of the camera. Wow. Oh. Those side <laughs> scenes are screaming right now. I love cupcakes, <laughs> but... I mean, I mean, who, who still has the jersey, jersey from, from when they were fucking, fucking, you know, 11, 11 years, years old? Do you guys love cupcakes, but not big muffin, muffin fans? Or am I the only, only one? one? You just like the frosting on um, the cupcakes, and the muffins don't have <laughs> well, once the frosting. You, once you, yeah, yeah, once you frost, frost the muffin, it's a cupcake. cupcake. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> muffin's <laughs> not enough. Okay, put a frosting on it. Let's be honest. <laughs> it's true. What are we fucking do? My, 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 my mind's, mind's fucking. <laughs> he's, he's like, like cherry pie on the, the fucking wall behind you right, right now. Splattered. <laughs> right, oh, like you go to a place and you're like, sorry, sorry so we're out of cupcakes. <laughs> we'll give, give me a muffin. I already brought them from Boston. Give me that banana nut muffin over there. I'll throw some fucking cream cheese on the top of it. Frost that bitch. Some emergency break glass. Oh, shit. <laughs> that's, that's fucking, fucking hilarious. hilarious. He's got so a fucking... I wish I, wish I could go out in the world and order a cupcake or a muffin. One day it always comes back. back. One, One day, day it'll happen, happen again. again. I swear I'm mad. You could have, have it delivered. delivered. Yeah, have them door dash it. Amazon's, Amazon's fucking... fucking... <laughs> nah, stop in my house. Good. Good. Stimulus check <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we needed, we needed these... 
area rugs for the last 10 years. Tell you, man. Doug Doug Doug, she, she's, she's been, been wanting a rug for, for the front, front room, room forever. forever. And, and uh, you know, I saw, I saw, I saw like a rug, rug, you know, it's 20, 20 bucks. bucks. I mean, what the fuck? How much is a rug? No, I want this rug. It's like 80 bucks. 40? Mm. $80 I'm like, for a $80. rug. $80. I'm, I'm like, like, I'm, I'm going to step, step on this. this. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff does it like the <laughs> – Jeff now does it like they have in the hockey locker room because they they never step on the logo when it's on the ground. Yeah. So yeah, Jeff is walking around that fucking carpet. It's like fuck, that's eighty bucks. That's eighty bucks. I ain't stepping on that. Just take eighty singles, singles and just tape them all, all together, together and then, then just lay that rug. rug. Just that was my daughter, daughter like the, the, the stare of death, death as she's walking, walking in here with, with a, a bowl, bowl of cereal. Of cereal. <laughs> 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 oh, cup of juice. Back to the kitchen. Get your, get your, get your ass in that kitchen. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. shit. She, 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 she don't give no fuck, fuck that. She, she straight, straight up will go right on that carpet and sit down. Eat her cereal. 100%. No, we've been, we've been, we've been, we've been fortunate. fortunate. Well, yeah, yeah, you know, you know we're, we're both essential workers, so. Every, every, every day. I wish I was essential. New here. One day, bro, you will. One day you're going to meet a girl and she's going to be like, he's essential. Yeah. Or it's just going to be like, like that's, that's a nice project. project. I'm, I'm going to fix that. <laughs> you know, a little bit about the fixing. Option oh, two yeah. is more there for you than option one, that's for sure. That's, that's a new shirt, shirt right, right there. there. Come, Come fix, fix me. me. <laughs> fix me. <laughs> <laughs> fix me. So, so then, then when, when you, you walk, walk around the bar, bar every chick, chick knows. <laughs> You're a <your> project. <laughs> I'm dying. We're making it. I heard, uh, I, was I was told by someone, someone that you need to go to the grocery, grocery stores on Tuesdays. Tuesdays. Tuesdays was the day. Why? I wonder why. I don't know. I haven't made it to the grocery no, store. Not it's just I'm not, yeah. 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 Way Walk to go. Someone in the grocery store, store and they're going to be like, six feet, motherfucker. I wouldn't, uh. All right. I mean, Jake, I, feel... I feel. We, we, we've held off too long. We need the cheese with a story. Oh, oh God. God. So, so Francis, Francis and I, I were talking, talking the other day. day. <laughs> he's, you, you know, know your gentleman's den, as you do, he's, he's sitting out chewing, chewing some, some fucking delicious, delicious cheese, cheese whiz whiz crackers. 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 And by cheese whiz, Jeff is talking about the aerosol can of cheese. Yes. 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 So you, you have, have the cracker, cracker there, and you just squirt cheese, cheese out of it. <laughs> It's really just problem. having a good old, good old fucking, fucking time, time with it. it. And, then and then he starts, starts like shaking, shaking it. And I, well, 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 how, how did, did it even come, come about? You're like, what, what if this, this fucking just explodes? Just explodes? <laughs> well, <laughs> so I was, you know, you know eating, eating my Jesus crackers, crackers, having just a gay old time, and eating delicious crackers, crackers to where the cheese starts spraying all sporadically where it's like popping. It's shit. It's cheese is going every. It's still like a half fucking can. It usually does that at the end. It started, it started doing, doing it like halfway, halfway through the can, can and it's, it's shooting, shooting fucking cheese everywhere, dude. It's, it's like, like fucking all over the crackers, all over my hand, all over my fucking arm. arm. It's, it's like, like fucking all over the can, the, the, the bottle and shit. I'm like, all right, <laughs> this is getting pretty ridiculous. <laughs> you hit an air and pocket was... in the middle of your can of cheese? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> something. I started, I started smashing the, the can just to make, you know, I hear that makes it work better. If you're, you're almost, almost out, out of hairspray and it's empty, you just smash the can, can you get a little bit more out of it. So I smashed this can, this cheese, cheese can, and a whole lot more cheese started to fucking spit out. out. It, it, was, it, it was all over the fucking place. place. And I was talking to him at a party. We were just bullshitting. And he asked me what kind of person I was. That's, That's a good question. Like, I feel like we should have a poll question out. Like, what kind of person are you? And I wouldn't know. Like... If you have a cheese whiz and it starts fucking exploding everywhere, there's cheese all over you. Are you the type to go get a napkin and clean it up, or are you the type to go get more crackers? I just, I mean, it's like, during quarantine, that's like what I'm saying, a girl at a grocery store on a Tuesday, I want to find a girl that's going to find more crackers. Just scraping cheese off your forearm. During a lockdown. 
that's how you find the perfect woman. When there's cheese exploding everywhere, and she's like, I'll get more crackers. You're like, yes. <laughs> and, make, got it. and make sure put, and, and make sure you push play on the DVD player on your way up. Oh, oh my god. god! Well, everything is touching me now. Is fine. Frankie's like, I'm almost out. I'm like, that's why I fucking I I, I use my cheese whiz on Jesus. So then when I run out of the the spray cheese, I crack it into the cheese. See, that's fucking genius. And then he cheese and it hits. It worked. Then he cheeses oh, those tits. In here. Oh, oh man. man, cheese them tits. We're, We're just, just that's, that's just the question, question you want to ask yourself. yourself. What, what kind, kind of man or woman are you? Are you, are you the kind to go and get a rag and clean up, or are you just gonna get more crackers? <laughs> <laughs> Scoop that shit right off the couch. I'll, I'll tell, tell you right now, I got, I got more crackers. crackers. Uh, <laughs> oh, well, there's also the uh, the age old question too. Are you a push the cart to the corral or leave the cart right where it is type of person. I didn't oh, feel well, like and they leave it where they Not on site. Right. right. No, no one's going to say they leave it where they lie. I've, I've done, done it. it. I mean, I've definitely done, done it. I'm not, not going to lie. But I'm, 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 I'm going to push it to the, the corral, corral kind of guy. If I'm close enough, I'll push it back Ooh. in the building. I'm not doing that. Well, I always yeah, park now, park. now it's kind of tricky. But normally, you know, if, if I, I see someone emptying their shit and I get out, I'll be like, I'll take your card. I, I, I need one anyway. I'm going, going to the front, front of the building. I'll push I, right I, out I, in. I, you know? I do the same, or I offer it to somebody card? that's walking in. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah, but now, now you're going to take someone's cart with the Karana? I was that's what I'm saying. Now nah, 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 a hard time. Now nah, you need someone to just wipe down the handle grips once, and then they say, go ahead, it's good. Is that... I wear gloves and a mask. Yeah. I had my mask on today, picking up the computer from Jeff's. This, this is the perfect situation for that alternate State Farm slogan. slogan. Like, like a good neighbor, stay the fuck over there. Stay the fuck away from me. Uh, <laughs> I don't want you near me. It is, it is crazy, though, because like, like, I feel like in, in the neighborhoods and shit, you, you just, just see when the fuckers are outside talking. Like, like more than, than ever. Like, oh, people, people are ready, dude. They, they have cabin, cabin fever so bad. Like, yeah, they'll well, talk to it's, anybody. It's, it's literally been like, it, this is what it would feel like if it was like a three-week week blizzard. Like, you couldn't leave your fucking house. It's, it's not, not even, even that. that right. right. Like, like, if, if there, there actually was a three-week week blizzard, it'd be way, I think, more serious than this. Like, you couldn't get to, like, elderly people at their house. You couldn't get to the stores. Like, you, you know, know, this is what's funny about couldn't it. get to work. It's because people are acting like it's they're like they've been trapped and they and they've had more freedom now than they had before. So they'd have to be going Dude, to it's work. Not, it's, it's, it's not, not like, like you're, you're getting, getting drafted to a fucking war that you're protesting or, or you know, know like, like something, something something serious is going on. on. Like everyone needs to ban up and we got to stop this shit. shit. Like, like in, in Wisconsin, Wisconsin at the state, state building, there's a huge rally or people demanding that the state reopens. For what? what? So, so you, you can get your hair done? done? Like, like, you can you still, still get groceries, still get, still get gas. gas. Yeah, yeah. Like, what, what can't you, you do? do? They, they opened, opened in, in uh, uh, fuck, fuck what state, state was it? I think it was, uh, Georgia. Bowling alleys, alleys are essential. essential. How, How the, the fuck are bowling alleys? alleys? Even the owners are like, why the fuck are we opening? opening? Golf, they, they just reopened. Golf, and, and, but I, I, golf, golf, you can one game, game and I can see. see and I can you're away from all go everybody. Out. You have yeah, to fall in for your tea time. You can't use a cart. You have to walk the course. So it's yeah. yeah. It, it, my, my, my lady, lady drove by. And she, she said, said there's eight, eight motherfuckers, motherfuckers standing, standing together, together talking. talking. So, so it's like right. Yeah, you do a little gathering. Yeah. Well, well, not, not if, if you, you and I are playing. I'm shaking. shaking it. Way you're going going that way. Way. Oh, dude, you're so, <laughs> if we're all golfing together, we can all golf together. We social distance just fine golfing. Mm-hmm. Right? <laughs> Working on, on that buzz, buzz though. though. But it's, I'm, I'm just, just going to take, take a 10, 10 on that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, just happy to be outside. outside. You, you get, get a five. <laughs> Is a, can I get a mulligan? Mulligan. You can apart that for all I care. 
Like, okay, I don't know where that ball has been. I need a new one. I need to take another tee shot. Every time. I hit that ball and it disappeared. I just, I, yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't mind, I don't mind the, the, the social distancing shit right, right now. now. Like, it's it's just, just, let's just, just do your, your part. part and, and I just, I just, I just can't, can't wait for things, things to get back to normal. normal. Yeah, yeah, but I'd, I'd rather, rather them get, get back, back to normal sooner than later. later. I'd rather this curve flatten and everyone getting better and being okay and things getting back to normal by, you know, summertime or end of summer compared to where if we try to do it now. And in, in the middle, middle of somewhere having another, another fucking pandemic, pandemic where it's a stay at home. And right. can you imagine if they just reopened it right now? They're like, fine, have, have your way. way. Right. right. Like and people then, wouldn't protect themselves. Well, it, well no. is, the funny thing was is the, damn, the tavern, wrong. the tavern league in Wisconsin, were like, yeah, this this is what you would do to open. You have your bar stools six feet apart. Everybody's oh. wearing masks. Everybody's wearing gloves, including the workers. So, so what's, what's the, the fucking, fucking point, point of that? that? I, don't I don't even want to so, be there. <laughs> so how many bars, how many people can you fit in a bar that the bar stools are six feet apart? Eight, None. Eight people. Like, like, it's like those pictures that you see, they're, they're going to be six feet apart, apart but then they're, they're going to be like, like one after, after another backwards, backwards and, and it's, it's going to be like, like oh, because the virus can't move sideways. Yeah. You couldn't have more than eight people in your bar at a time. Uh, no, it's, it's and, and I feel I feel bad for people who you know are bartenders and hairstylists because you know they depend on the money. But I mean, right. I feel like they are putting stuff into place where you know you you get the help. You know, like you can call your mortgage company, be like, look, you know, I am making it right now. Yeah, you know, you know they, they will, will you know, know just backload it, which is yeah. super cool. So, like, like they, they said, said, we have to be apart, part, but let's all try I mean, to stick together. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. 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 It, 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 it is a scary time, time that we've never, never seen, and, and that's, that's why it's, it's so, so different because no, no one knows, knows anything. anything so. so, I'm just, just going to stay the fuck away from you guys until it's all over. Well, they, I especially am staying uh, away from really. Jeff because they they've had a rough last couple of weeks. Oh yeah. Yeah. Strap yeah. Strap lady had strapped strap two weeks ago. My daughter had strapped one week ago. One week ago, ago and then I had strapped more. Well, last, last week, this week, whatever you want to call it. It's not, not been, been fun. fun. But what's, what's funny, funny is I. I so I'm clearly older. older. Clearly, clearly out of shape. shape. <laughs> clearly. And my, and my lady's like, like are, are you having, having trouble breathing? And, and I was like, kind of just taken back by the question. question. I was like, well, what, what do you mean? mean? She's, She's like, what do you mean? mean? What do I mean? mean? And I was, and I was like, like, I have trouble, trouble breathing quite, quite a bit. bit. <laughs> <laughs> right. right. Like, like, what's the thing I do? She's, She's like, like, no, she, she asked about short, short of breath. breath. And, and I, I said, said what's, what's the, the difference, difference between, between short of breath, breath and, and out of breath? Because <laughs> <laughs> when I'm walking up the stairs, I'm out of breath. <laughs> there is none left. The, the doctor is going to catch me at the top, top of the stairs. stairs. He's, He's sending, sending me in, in for a test, test right, right away. Right. right. Like, well, if you're at the top of the stairs, I feel like you're out of breath. On your way up the stairs, you're short of breath. Well, and, and you with doctors ain't exactly a great thing, so you're fucking, you're gonna be, your chest's going to be blasting anyway. Oh, yeah. 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 They were, they were laughing, laughing when I, because I, I had to go in. in. Uh, I wouldn't have gone in, in you know, because you know, I don't, don't want to be, be by hospital. So I know that's how you end up getting the fucking shit. shit. Yeah. Right. But, but I have to go in for strep throat, throat because I have to get an antibiotic. So, you know, I fucking go in there and... Do all, all the shit, shit. and yeah, yeah, it was. I hadn't been, been to the doctor for so long. They're, They're like laughing. And she's like, "Oh, last, last time he was here, uh, he's a uh, doctor, blah blah blah. He, he hasn't, hasn't worked here in years." <laughs> yeah, well, what the last time you were yeah, at the doctor was, was what your appendix? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that, that was a long time ago. ago. Yeah, yeah, ten, ten years. <laughs> hey man, that's a good ride. I did have to go get a physical to get my CDL. That is true. Yes, Jeff Jeff broke the streak. Hey, man, is, man. Man. We'll, we'll drink to Jeff's CDL because he can't do anything else. Yeah. 
inspiration to us all. Stay hydrated. Stay hydrated. All right, Jeff, you said something about idiots on the internet. Did I? Yeah. Yesterday. Well, yeah, look, look at us. us. He's probably, probably talking about us. I mean, yeah. we are idiots on the internet. So. <laughs> no, that's <laughs> what I was talking about. Uh, I think that's what I was talking about, like the Capitol building and yeah. people protesting and just... These are the people that are going to like get sick, you know what I'm saying? That's what, I see another funny meme. People at the rally one week later like, Try and hold him in a cough. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> With the what about like, the, the fucking, fucking beat off that he showed at, at, the, at the rally? It's got, got a big ass sign. It says the coronavirus is fake. It is made up by our government. And he's head to toe in like fucking face mask, you know, space suit, gloves. Bro, better safe Pussies. than sorry, baby. He yeah, just said it was fake. fake. Yeah, he need, need to wear, wear all that then? then? But what if it's not? What if it's not? Well, right. then you know what? Like, your ass should stay the fuck at home. And, and, and what if it's not, bro? Else in the that's, 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 not, that's, that's not being true to your fight. It's like... I don't give a shit. shit. It's stay like, home. It would be like going to an anti-gay rally with the cast of Cats from Broadway. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's like they're all gay, like really gay. They dress up as cats. Yeah, that, that that person, person just, just is really stupid. stupid. That movie was gay. Did you see what they're doing with the movie? No, no tell, tell me. me. People got pissed off because there was no buttholes in the movie, so they're putting them because they. <laughs> Did you see someone? Shut the fuck up. They digitally but took out the buttholes. Shut the fuck up. Are you serious? At first, the buttholes were on there. Then they digitally <laughs> removed them. <laughs> so now they're putting back the buttholes. Oh, <laughs> my God. What a world we live in. I love it. So this is cat you, back here, Mama, Mama cupcake, cupcake, every time she shows her butthole, she's got a little bit of poop hanging out. <laughs> Are they gonna put that on there? Yeah. <laughs> so is Taylor She's Swift real. as a cat? Keep gonna have a butthole with a little bit of a little bit of duke on it. Yeah, there's a lot of people. It's fake. It's made up by the government. Yeah. Well, what are you doing? Why you well, I don't want no fake made, made up shit by the government touching me. I'm just saying. I don't think it's fake, but it might be it might be exaggerated in some ways. Yeah. You know how the fucking news is. You know they. And they what if it was laid down? Right. <laughs> <laughs> it might be that too. It could be way fucking yeah. worse. Yeah, it could be just. There's bad. another another fucking funny picture I saw. It's, it's a this, this guy sitting on a ledge, and he's like. Ready, ready to, to jump, jump. And, and it says the media what the media sees and then the next picture at the bottom is he's sitting on the ledge but the window's like right at the bottom his feet are touching the ground and it said what actually happened yeah that's, <laughs> that's what, what i mean it's a story it's clickbait it's who can get like we need a really good uh, clickbait title for this one maybe we get people to click on it and Oh, well, we're, we're gonna, gonna clickbait shit. Out. That's how great the show is. I can't even. I can't even mute my mic to to the burn off my. Be called clickbait magic. <laughs> 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 a little CBM. Well, I, I do kind of like. We should just talk call it like the NFL, NFL draft thing or whatever, because everyone's talking about the draft that's going on right now, which. which I'm very, um... Do you want to get into this now? I don't. I don't. I don't. Let's just save this for the end. <laughs> I mean, I mean we're, 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 we're almost a half hour dance. in. All right, let's get into the last dance quick. I'm, I'm going to go, go make a drink. drink. You guys you guys start it. I got my my Brett Elevens here. The greatest Jordan so, shoes. So, like, you want to talk about, you wanna talk about the last dance and then the Bears, or you want to talk about the Bears and then the last dance? No, 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 no. Because this could be Ryan Pace's last dance with the Bears. Because after, <laughs> <laughs> after this shit, let's storm. just let's, let's just get through this, and then we'll just kind of talk about the last dance, and then we'll we'll let you just we'll let you spread your wings and fuck. Okay, so we're talking about the last dance. Last dance first. 
I'm, I'm, I gotta, gotta make, make a drink, drink though, guys. Oh, oh my god, god you're a lush and not, not professional, professional at all. Yeah, but, but, he's, but you'll yeah. have he'll have his headset on. Finish so that one. Why don't you guys talk about, talk about what Trump, Trump said, said first? Oh, I'm gone. gone. About what? Oh, about injecting? About, about injecting household, household cleaning products. <laughs> yeah, you just gotta. I don't even want to be a, a person to respond to something like that. Someone might hear it and do it. Fucking idiots! Oh my god! You see how he has no muscle? Jesus. Jesus. Easy, man. What's, What's the... the... Oh, watch oh, out. God. There it is. The yeah, he's only got one tricep. Show me the other, show me the other one. one. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Go, Go make, make your drink. drink. What you guys so... aren't seeing that are just listening to this is Jeff is now flexing in the camera. Call that Twitch. Twitch. <laughs> oh, my God. He is, uh... He needs another, another drink. drink. I don't know how many he's had. Yeah, I did I'm, I'm sure, sure just one. Oh, oh, I, <laughs> well, yeah, he had to take a couple of days off because antibiotics. So, right, he's, he's hitting it hard. My Normally, he's like, like I, just I just drink when I'm sick. sick. It makes, makes it better. better. Not with strep. He's just well, eating ice cubes. Well, at, at least he's got, got the last dance, dance and then all the, the good draft stuff. stuff. The last, last dance, dance, man. Unbelievable. Absolutely amazing. amazing. That's, That's why, why we have, have the Jordans out. I, I put my Jordans, Jordans out because I didn't want Jeff to feel alone with his shoes out and his, his Jordan wife beater, or whatever you want to call it. It's Jordan painted on jersey. Skin tight jerseys. I didn't know they made spandex jerseys. <laughs> the fucking <laughs> numbers are just <laughs> running away from each other in different directions. <laughs> At 23, he's got a good three-inch gap in between each other. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 that thing's got, got the, the uh, I mean, that's, that's, dude, that's, that's the top of the line jersey. jersey. Of all jerseys, that fucking that's jersey nice. is screaming. It's, it's screaming right now. Oh, oh dude. dude. The, the, the stitching, stitching on that is pushed to its limits. <laughs> wow. That was Look at that. So, 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 so great. So great. Oh, not, not a day, day to get a drink. drink. Look, Look at, at the, the two, three still. So, what I've taken so far from Last Dance is uh, they hate Jerry Krause and Scotty Pippen's film <laughs> for signing that contract. That's hey, hey man, man though, I, I give, give it to, to Scotty when, when to take, take care of his family. family the most important thing, thing. You, know, you know, he, he had, had an opportunity to be one, one of the fours. fours. You, know, you know, kids, kids growing up and having nothing. nothing. Bro, he was the they, sixth highest player on the team. I know. I know. The he, team. Was, he, was he was like, like 122 in the league. Second, second best, best player, player in the NBA. NBA. And he, he was, was like, like the 146. 122nd. Highest player. Sixth plus, plus on the team. When Jordan, when Jordan left, left for that, that season, season, Pippen was, was legitimately, legitimately the second, second best, best player, player in the league. league. Right. right. So, so, don't get me wrong. They, they weren't were projecting, projecting to win shit. shit. They won like 50 something games and then went to like, what, seven games with the Knicks in the playoffs? And got screwed over on a phantom penalty or a phantom foul on Scotty I do love all the. Crazy, crazy behind, behind the, the scenes, scenes footage, footage though. though. Like, like when, when, when Scotty, Scotty was traded, was drafted, or was drafted and traded to the Bulls, Bulls and they had Oakley on there when Pippen came in, he says, I'm going to be better than Jordan, Jordan and Oakley, Oakley put him against the wall and slapped the, the shit, shit out of him. Oh, he <laughs> shut up. Yeah, he did. He's like, shut up, rookie. You don't be talking that garbage. Charles Oakley has looked like he's been a 45-year-old man. His entire life. For 45 yeah. years. <laughs> His entire life. <laughs> like, think about that. What was that, like, 1987? What was that, 1987? He's slapping Pippen around, or 89, and he's slapping Pippen right. around? He looks the same in 2020. Yeah, he just painted right. hair gray. It's not, it, it's not like he looks the same as... Like, you, like, you know, know, he's just aged well. Like, like no, no, he, he looked, looked old. old. He looked old then. Fuck. <laughs> he looked like he was a 60-year-old man on the court. I know, especially, I know, especially with, with the clothes and stuff back then, then it makes him even look older, older, I feel like. You know what I mean? Like, like, I know he looked old, old even in his uniform and his jersey and shit. But, bro, yeah. those, fuck. Like, those oversized suits back in the day in the 90s. I know, right? Like, <laughs> those dudes <laughs> looked so enormous. And they're Three not buttons. Buttons. Especially, Especially if you're, if you're fucking, fucking six, six nine. nine. Yeah, but how wide they were. <laughs> I mean they were Shoulders heads, heads on them just motherfuckers. Boxed out motherfuckers. I'm I'm interested in this week's episodes. 
Oh, not just yeah, because yeah. Rad, Rad, well, dude, Rodman's, Rodman's gonna, gonna be off the fucking, fucking chain. chain but I yeah. want the I want the Detroit stories. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, it's, it's gonna, gonna come, come with the Rodman, Rodman one for sure. For sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I can't, I can't wait, wait to get, get into, into the gritty Rodman, Rodman of like, 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 like you, you said, said, the Detroit, Detroit stories of him coming, coming to the Bulls. And then, and then, I mean, everyone, everyone knows, knows the story of Jordan, Jordan going up to Rodman, Rodman and telling him if he fucks, fucks up here, here he, he would, would fucking, fucking kill, him. kill him. Sean, Sean why, why don't, don't you move uh, just a little bit to your left? left? Because your camera that you're seeing me on doesn't matter, like I tell you every week. It doesn't matter. Does I, I don't like, like it. it. Matter. <laughs> Damn, Damn dog. dog. Can't I see. am just so glad this documentary, if he's... See, this is the way I'm going to phrase it. The best I can. About, about Michael, Michael Jordan, Jordan and, and being the greatest, greatest player of all time. time. And, the and the way, way his tenacity, tenacity was. was. Those, those, those of us who saw it, no. no. Those, those who are watching, watching this, this are going to find, find the fuck, the fuck out. out. <laughs> well, that's what... So, listen Because to all these LeBron, LeBron stories, stories and comparing, comparing them, them no. it's great. No, but yeah. there is... The way, the way Jordan, Jordan the, way the way he said, said at any, any cost. cost. Like, like he, he would have, like, honestly, honestly, he probably, probably would have kicked, kicked one of his kids, kids out of the car, car and an overpass, overpass to win, to win another, another title. title. So McAfee was talking about because he didn't know anything about Jordan. He didn't, and he's just like, yeah, there's no doubt that he's the greatest of all time, just because how much of a fucking asshole he was. <laughs> All I'm saying, people who don't, don't know, know are about, about to find, find out. out. And, and hold on, what a real killer. killer. Is, 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 is that what you just said? What a fucking asshole he is. is. And like, and like you, you just said, said what, what a killer, killer he is. That's, that's a, a big, big difference, difference because, because you, you look, look at that mentality. mentality. Is, is that, that a fucking controlling dickhead who feels he's always got to be right and in control? Or is that a winner? Is that a leader? Then you got to look at is, is Tom, Tom Brady, Brady a fucking asshole? asshole? Right. Or is he's he's yelling at dudes at the sideline during, during games, games all right. the fucking time. Well, yeah. He's, he's giving, giving Edelman, Edelman the fucking, the fucking business. business. He's, he's telling, telling uh, uh, who's, who's their it's coordinator go, go fuck himself. Fuck himself. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's asshole in a good way. Yeah. You got to have the... Is it a competitor spirit or is it an asshole? I think he was an asshole to... That was his way of... Pushing, pushing players, players I, feel. I feel. Those, Those Bulls, Bulls teams growing, growing up always had phenomenal role players. players. And, and when, when they, they went, went anywhere else, else they, were they were fucking garbage. garbage. Absolute trash. But when, when they, they were, were on, on the Bulls, Bulls you, got you got the absolute best players, players that, that those, those players, players could be. be. Well, in all honesty, and that was thanks, thanks to Michael Jordan, Jordan being, being an asshole. I remember when the Bulls got Ron Harper because that was – when the Bulls almost went to the championship without Jordan. That's when Harper came in. He came in after the first three championships. So How many times did you hear in that video of him say, say Harp? A Harp. 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 Because Harper was one of those guys that were drafted to shut down Jordan. Yeah, I don't know. And Harper said, fuck that. I'll just <laughs> join him. Join him. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take right. the ear beating in practice. Because I know Harper was getting paid more than Pippen. He's yeah, one of the six. It's just that mentality, like, like you said, of the asshole. asshole. Like, look, look, at, look at Kobe, Kobe Bryant. Bryant. His, his documentary, it shows him playing against, against his own teammates. teammates. And then the dude's, dude's being being up, getting, getting pressed, pressed on, on him. You know, you know what I mean? Standing next, next to him. And Kobe's, Kobe's fucking, fucking elbowing this dude, dude in the chest. chest. Like, like, violently. You have to You have to be a bit of an asshole to be competitive. Right. right, and, and he's, he's and he's like, like telling, telling this dude talking shit, shit like, like let's, let's fucking go, go. like whack, whack. Let's, let's fucking go, go. get, get off, don't, don't fucking touch, touch me. me. And, and as, as he turns towards, towards the camera, camera and his teammates, he's like, like, like I'm, I'm just, just fucking, fucking with him. It's okay, like because they were gonna break him up. Like Kobe's gonna beat the shit out of this guy. No, 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 I'm just pushing him. It's okay. Well, was he like he said though? That's the competitor. I have to make these guys better. Like he saw Jordan do. Well, dude, Kobe's mentality just. If you watch the guy trying to pump fake, fake the ball in his face and he doesn't even move, no, no, no. no. right, right. Well, they, they, they they throw, throw it in. In all, in <laughs> all honesty, you know what would have happened if that was LeBron in that situation? Flop, flop, flop. Hard, flop. Flop. hard yeah. flop. But he, but he probably, probably would have played, played. and then, then realized that, that he could have flopped, flopped, and then, then, then later fuck flopped. flopped. 
Like, like you got, got hit in the nose. <laughs> yeah. And then, and then, and then the, rest the rest would have been, been like, like, yeah, you, you hit, hit him? him? He... All, All right, Bob. Flagrant. Flagrant. LeBron, LeBron go to the line, and then they'll, they'll show the fan where, where it was like, like two feet in front of his fucking, fucking face. face. Now, back, back to like, like the, the Bulls thing. thing. I, think I think they're, they're going to get, get more into... into eventually, they're, they're setting, setting up Jerry Cross, Cross to be the villain. Yes. Yes. And, and then, then like, oh, they already on, set gonna... that as the <laughs> that he's the villain. Oh, yeah, 100%. <laughs> but I think they kind of, they're kind of going to establish, like, what he actually... I mean, don't get me wrong. He fucked us up. He fucked us up. Big the time. greatest team, team of all time. time. He, all, all these people that he put in a play, I mean, it was, besides, besides Michael Jordan, Jordan, he got all those guys there. Yeah, right. Pippen, Pippen, his, whoever his agent is, he needs to kick him in the fucking balls. Well, he hurt his back, he wanted a long-term deal, and, you know, Jerry Reinsdorf, he kind of just skates free because he's like, don't sign it, I wouldn't sign it, it's too long. Yeah, yeah, but you, you could have restructured this fucking No, but deal, like, right? like Jerry said, he goes, you honor your contract. I don't negotiate contracts. Well, well because, because he honors his contract. contract. If he, he says, says he's going to pay you $16 million for 10 years, he's going to pay you that money. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. But You know what I mean? Like, so but even, even so, he's going to get paid that money if he gets hurt and hurts his back and sits out. He's getting that money that he was promised. You know what I mean? So, like, that's where I see where Jerry is like, don't come at me and ask me for more money once you already signed. Well, and that, there should just, be more of that like that in the NBA it, and NFL it's still. It's never going to happen again. No, the players have the power now, and they, they, yeah, they hold now, out and do it. Now they sign one-year deals and all kinds of crazy shit. Right, they're smart about it. I just it. hope they goals. show, they show like, eventually they show uh, how they did Pippen right at the end. How they, like... They, like, re-signed him, so then the Trailblazers had to pay, like, more money to get him. Like, they didn't have to do that. And then Pippa wanted to retire a bull, so they paid him an ungodly amount of money for two years. He only played 17 games for them. Oh, Look yeah, at Jason right. Williams when they drafted him. He wasn't, he broke his contract by riding that motorcycle. Jerry Krause paid him his entire contract. Jason Williams was the he didn't have to was the first point guard that I ever saw shoot less than sixty percent from the free throw line. Like any time before that, your point guards always were your guys that hit free throws. <laughs> Jason Williams in college was a sixty three percent free throw. It's shooter. weird to see a point guard for sure shoot that low percentage. But still, Jerry Krause took care of his ass. He did. They didn't. And 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 Reinsdorf, you know, Reinsdorf, they didn't have to do that shit. Yeah. Right. And there's times you see the organization stand up and do the right thing, but there's a lot of times too where they don't. You know what I mean? You, you, they they could have kept something together. They should have let the Bulls, Bill Jackson, Jordan, Pippen, Rodman. Don't get me wrong. Like you bring look at all those guys that they brought in. Rodman. Pippen, um, Steve Kerr, B.J. Armstrong, Horace Grant, um, Bill Carr, uh, 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 Are we talking, talking about the first round or the second round? Well, obviously, he, uh, he's, Krause brought everyone in. He, he, when he came into the team, all it really had was Jordan. Right, like, Oak, Oak they got traded everyone. Oakley for, so he drafted Pippen and Horace Grant in the same draft. And then they needed a big guy. Jordan's best friend on that team was Charles Oakley, and he said, because "I don't he care." A he traded Oakley to get Bill Cartwright. to get Cartwright, right? Yep. And Jordan couldn't. I, I think Jordan hated him ever since then. Jordan probably right. hated well, Kraus since fucking. No, he hated Kraus because Kraus wouldn't let him play when he was cleared. When it was the ninety percent or ten, and they put him on the fucking leash. Yeah, but that's I, hard. To, that's a biz. How do you even do that? When you I, know would, you're not I would win. be like, dude, I would be like, dude, just sit, man. If you get hurt, I s- everybody's fucked. You're but, fucked. I'm fucked. But that's not right. a competitor. Just that please Jordan sit. And I, I know. know. But at the same time, like Jordan says, like, he's a competitor in this. But there's a business side of it. Now, you know what? Jordan's more of a businessman. 
I, I bet, bet you Jordan would say, nah, you're sitting and shutting it down. Next year, we're going to get some more pieces around you and win six championships. Right. And Jordan as an owner, I wonder how he would go about that. If he had a superstar in his team, which he never, probably never will. <laughs> That's the thing. Like, dude, they, they all fucking hate Jerry Krause, but who's Michael Jordan drafted? What team has he put together? Right. Fucking nobody. Uh, he might be the greatest player ever. But that's what I mean, like, just because that's another thing, too, a lot of the analysts in sports nowadays, it's all retired players because you want that insight of what they said. But you know what? Just because you have their insight and they're telling you how they play the game or what they saw on the court or the field and so forth doesn't mean it's right. Here's an honest question. That's, that's why players are not coaches, and, and there's coaches that tell players what to do. Well, I'll give you my thought on that in a second, but let's, Sean. If you have a uh, championship team... Why the fuck are you trying to break it up? That doesn't make sense to me either. But I'm well, the thing is, he, he wanted to right now. He wanted to break it up a year earlier, so that the new coach could play with could coach Jordan and win. That he wanted his new coach to win that 1998 championship, and then go on from there, so that he would have the cachet of he came in, he won. Even though that was, you know, Phil Jackson. It's like the dude who came in for fucking Jimmy Johnson. The Cowboys. Barry so Jimmy Johnson's fucking team. Right. Yeah. He built that team. That Everything he did, he had his fingerprint on. Yeah. You can't take over and be like, oh, well, look what I did. Well, that's, yeah. That's, I mean, that, that's like if you went and coached the fucking Chiefs right now. They're a championship. I would, say, I would just say just do what you're doing, guys. Everything's fine. No. Yeah. And I, <laughs> No, <laughs> Jerry Krause was trying to be bigger than basketball. He was trying to be bigger than the players. That's why he wanted to blow up that team. And in all honesty, that team, if jo- think about it, Jordan never retires, they win eight straight easily. Over that Houston team, they yeah. fucking walk over that Houston team. Oh, yeah. I mean. Well, then, there, it, it yeah, that frustrates me because it's like. The LeBron question wouldn't—it wouldn't even be a, a question no. if he won eight straight titles. If they just but like you said, why break up a good thing? Why break up a fucking championship team? They should have let Jordan and Pippen and Rodman. You know what they should have went and did? They should have traded the next three years of draft capital and got one of the young super. Can you imagine if they would have traded for Kobe? Some just just some fucking way they traded for Kobe back then. And not even hey, Mama. You're going to be the next Jordan, and we want you to play with him, and you're going to play the two, and he's going to play the three, and Pippen's going to play four, and we're going to get more versatile down low. And Dude, they could have won ten. They could have won, you know what, so many championships. It's crazy. But the organization, it, it, it's the it's the big head who who's better. We're seeing it right now. Again, like you said, why would you do that? Who would do that? Patriots are doing that. They, they just, just said goodbye to the greatest quarterback of all time. At 41 years old. Still, I don't give a shit. Who, what gives you the best chance to win? Brian Hoyer or Tom Brady? You know what I'm saying? Like, You yeah. had a great thing. Gronk's back. Why didn't you get him weapons? Why didn't you build, put, put more around Gronk him? Gronk said he didn't want to play in New England anymore. That's I, why, though? That's what I'm saying. Because of upper well, management team. Obviously, he'll go play for another organization with Tom Brady. But he wouldn't play. So is the, is the Patriot way that's been so nostalgic? Right so or wrong? Going to the wayside? Right, exactly. Well, well, same thing. I mean, here's another example. I, I mean, I, I know now we're getting into like the football and the draft and stuff, but just to. to well, that's re- fine. That's just, we could we could put a we could put a uh, Sean. You want to put a fancy bow on the? Uh, the la- the last dance is worth every last dance. Second. It really is. Check oh out. yeah, oh, that's only even, parts even, if you, even if you hate, even if you hated the Bulls, hated Jordan, hated everything, it's still worth the watch. It's so well done. You know, oh, yeah. Knicks fan, Knicks fans are like, "Fuck this shit." <laughs> but it's it's funny though. Knicks fans are like, "No sports, and I gotta watch this bullshit." <laughs> the one thing I did notice: watch Jordan's drink. Watch Jordan's drink. When he starts talking shit more, that drink gets lower and lower. Lower and lower, yeah. I'm sure he's oh, yeah. back up. 
I'm I'm loving I'm loving the insight with it. It is such a great it is such a great show, especially in this time right now. Like ten episodes, two of them were last Sunday, two of them we get tomorrow night. Um, I'm super excited. I'm fucking pumped. Right, you're excited. Feel these nipples. And you got the Frank has got the. Those are the last dance shoes right there. The Jordan 13. Quick little story where I got these from. Some guy, some idiot, paid a ton of fucking money for them. Brand fucking new. Never wore them. Me. And then I got to wear them a couple times playing basketball to the point where he said, give me 100 bucks and you can have them. So now they're sitting here. Thanks, Jeff. I should just go grab those other shoes. We should just... Your controller just, just died? Did your controller just die, Jeff? Yes, it did. Keeping it 100. Keeping it 100 up in here. And speaking so like I of, said, though. Speaking of 100. So <laughs> How 100% bad was the fucking draft this year? <laughs> well, like I said. My the, controller the died. Organization, I, <laughs> my controller died. No shit, you son of a bitch. <laughs> All right. Hey, Jordan 13s. Yeah, I was telling a little story while the controller died and I was making fun of you. These are the best, though. The Jordan 11. They're not. Breads. These are the best. No, the Jordan 11 breads are the best Jordans of all time. No, I want these but over those. And, all right, I do like those a lot, too. The threes. The threes are fucking elephant print. So dope. So, you know, here's a, here's a fun fact. Jordan almost left Nike because his shoe sales were doing very good after the Jordan 2s. So Tinker Hatfield oh, came along and made the Jordan 3s, and he designed every one since. I was going to say, and he's probably the greatest sneaker maker of all fucking time. I mean, no, he is. He's a goddamn legend. Like, who God. thinks, hey, I'm going to put elephant print on a shoe? And it's going to sell. Tinker. All the Can't most sell. iconic Jordans of all time made by Tinker Hatfield. Even all Even those. now. Bro. They all have a backstory too, like those Jordan 13s right there, designed after her cat. Look at the bottom; it's got a cat print. Them? See this? See that side? See that side print? Yeah. Ooh. See that hologram on the side? It's supposed to emulate oh. a cat's eye. And I can go oh. on there. Come on now. Little I'm an old please. school. I'm an old school sneakerhead. Right. That would be an awesome documentary to watch on Tinker. What we should do though. I have a pair of Jordans upstairs that I've never worn. Just give them away. Just give them away to a listener. Size 10 and a half. <laughs> right, yeah, so we we'll got to find we'll our cinder. At this episode, need- and, and After this episode we'll, we'll do it. I, fuck it, dude. This, I, I, dude, they're sitting in my closet. I've never worn them. So if you have they're a size spizikes. 10 and a half? 10 and a half. I think what we should do is like we should do like maybe some trivia. We'll figure out some things with the last dance figure in these next out. few weeks. Yeah, maybe yeah. we'll give it away the last week of the last dance. Someone to give them to a true Jordan fan, someone who's gonna wear them, appreciate them. Someone who's a listener. And someone who has ten and a half inch feet. Or ten and a half yeah, that's ten and a half shoe. Is that shoe what it is? is? Oh, my feet ain't that big. I'd I'd have to <laughs> I'd have to I'd have to ten and a half inch. I'd have to cut off the fucking toes of the shoes to wear them. Yeah, yeah, you you would man, but they, you know they were the cool. If you got them in one and then you displayed them like these, because obviously I don't play basketball in these. Yeah. Why so? Why would I do that when I would just go, hey Jeff, how much you want for them shoes? And just buy well, them from them. Why would I? You already used you lose why, now. Why, why, why would I would I wouldn't sell this. Some dude offered me three hundred dollars for these uh, Jordan Elevens. I told him to go fuck himself. Those are super. <laughs> These are super fucking hard to get, and yeah, they're at least five. I love them, I love them. And you don't ever so, wear them, so. I like I was them. saying with the transition from the the great winning, how the Bulls would go ahead and break up the Jordan era and Pippen, and how the Patriots are gonna go ahead and break up Tom Brady. Look at what the the Packers just did. They just drafted another quarterback in the first. They All moved right. up the first round to get a Sean. quarterback. When you got Aaron Rodgers. Time, time check, quick. Time check. We're at one hour and we're, three no, minutes. We're, we're, all right, that's I, fine. Hey, we're we're going to ex- – this is, this is a quarantine <laughs> draft extravaganza, okay? If, 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 if you're not into football, 
Just end the podcast now. We appreciate listening. Thank you. Nah, Good night. You, you keep See listening you because week. we're going to put some gems in the middle of this. Uh, right. I feel like yeah. if you this, don't like this the NFL, isn't, this isn't the greatest thing. Jeff NFL. We're going to talk about getting fucked. Teams that some, teams, some teams did. We're going to talk about, you know, fucking lubing the wheel. <laughs> Lube in the wheel. <laughs> yeah, no. How, How much did you put in that last drink? Is that your? I know, but that? hey, I'm gonna make another one. You guys want to start? Go ahead. Oh Packers my God. Fuck. Man, bro. Pro football. How? Pro football. How they focus. go ahead and do that though? Pro football focus. <laughs> put out all the Packers picks and where they had them ranked, and they were all like a hundred points off of where they got drafted. Oh yeah, they reach on so much, and it's it's crazy when you have one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL to not go put weapons around him, or or to put you know not just skill players, but how deep this draft was with receivers and linemen and stuff. And how do you not cover it, your it, needs? Yeah, how do you Those not needs fucking your cover teams. your needs? And especially when you're a new head coach coming into your, you know, this will be your second year. You had your first year with Guess Hall of what? Famer Aaron Rodgers. Guess what Green Bay just did? They're having a year like the Bears had last year. Uh, They're having a sophomore fucking slump with this guy. I, I wonder, I wonder though, what his vision is. Because obviously, drafting a guard, an offensive tackle, and a quarterback. Obviously, he's not keeping draft, the vision. He, he thinks, yeah, he's rebuilding. You gotta keep the vision, man. If if you have if you have a Hall of Fame quarterback, I don't, I fucking hate the Packers. I hate Aaron Rodgers. He's good as fuck, and it, they've never really put weapons and a team around him. And with as deep as this class is, and you see what other teams did going to get two wide receivers. You look at Jacksonville, who went and got wide receivers. They got D.D. Westbrook and D.J. Shark. Like, why the fuck would you not put stuff around one of the greatest quarterbacks in the NFL? It just shows them is not confident in a lack of trust in that organization. And at least uh, they're looking to rebuild and do something in the future on like what we're doing. Hey, do you guys want to know what I found in the kitchen? What did you find? Another book. Hiccups. A couple more pounds. <laughs> the hiccups. That shirt looks a little tighter. Just a, just a tidbit. Why well, haven't peed yet? You're, so you're saying you're bloated? Is that what it is? This shirt's not usually this tight. I'm just blowing. Ah, yeah. <laughs> I got a lot of water weight right now. So, uh, water weight. I'm on creatine. <laughs> yeah, you're supposed to work out when you <laughs> use that shit. Yeah, when you use creatine, you should be doing oh, something. Shit. It just said in the container, take twice a day. Didn't say nothing about working out. He's just <laughs> scooping <laughs> raw handfuls in his mouth. <laughs> I just like the way it tastes. Oh, man. I sprinkle it on my ice cream. <laughs> I just like don't the- know how the Bears go from being set up as a win-now contender. And you, you look at, you know, the, the, the things that they addressed. They needed a tight end. They went and overpaid and gave a no-trade clause to Jimmy Graham. They, they wanted to, to have competition and figure out the quarterback. And they don't do nothing with the quarterback. They, they get Nick Foles, trade a fourth-round pick for – a twenty-plus million-dollar guy that that cripples the team in other positions, and then you go ahead and where you could have took a quarterback and built for the future, like other teams did. Like Carson Wentz is a starter for the Eagles, but they went and got Jalen Hurt, someone for the future. The problem is we have two quarterbacks on one-year deals, and then what? I don't like the fact that they're gonna like try putting Jalen Hurts at a running back situation. I don't like that. I heard that verbiage either, but you know what? I honestly don't, don't like think that. that. I think that's the same mentality of what did everyone say about Lamar Jackson? Lamar Jackson's not a quarterback. He'd be better at a running back position. Well, he'd be they'll a, probably he'd be start a, him at what, like, a read, like a read option type yeah. deal. Yeah, I think he comes in and he could win that starting role. I really he can do. obviously throw, right? He's not like like Tim, T- Tim Tebow. You, they brought him in to be a running back and like a stunt guy because he couldn't hit the broad side of a fucking barn. Hundred percent. Yeah, no, hurt. He could, like he can just throw. Yeah, he could throw. He, he could, could roll, roll out. He could, could run. run. 
he's he's really he's really good. So they, they got a great player for the future while they still have a quarterback. Sean, is this fantasy is this football talk boring you? No, my back is not exactly <laughs> oh, no. oh. I in a big old yawn. <laughs> I stretched. I felt good. So we take a tight end first, and he's a local kid. He's from Arlington Heights. Bears did. Yes. Which is a great story. It really is. It's a great story. I, I like the player. He's a good player. It's, it it does help the team's you know future with you know tutelage under Jimmy Graham and learning the ways and being someone of the future. It's just we reach for him. You have a player like Grant Delpit on the on the board, who's the NC or SEC play defensive player of the year. Yep. Which is a spot where we don't even have a safety. You have multiple lockdown corners, which I'm so glad we got a corner in the next pick in the second round, which is a really good uh, addition to just make that defense so much more scary. But you, you pass on a, a defensive player of the year and another athletic freak in Winfield at the safety position, and we didn't even really address it. I get it. You can kind of plug anyone in that position to play that, that downfield, you know, uh, tackling role, uh, you know, in the box. Um, with, with this defense, but as far as taking a reach on, on the tight end there, I, I like the player. I just don't like – I like a lot of stuff that Pace does, but I don't know why he does some of the things he does. Like, why did he – I don't mind him taking Mitch. Why did he have to move up to get Mitch? That made it even so much more emphasized that he had to be great and come in and perform, and he was the guy. He was so sure of it. He would have just took him at three or maybe even traded back and, 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 and built for the future. just took Mahomes. Right, you could have got Mahomes well, or even, anything like okay, that. And I'm, you can't be mad at Mahomes because Mahomes wasn't, like, the one. No, I agree. I, I, Watson's, like, to me, like, the biggest, yeah. like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah he won he a national champion. Two-time, right? Two-time yeah. national champion? Yep, and... And you take a guy who's won... 13 games. Play, no, he played 13 games. I don't even know who the fuck he won. All right, one season. It, 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 is, it is unfortunate. That's what he did now with his Cole Komet. I like the kid. I think he really, realistically, my comparable to him, and I know he's a, an amazing player in this and that, he's probably a poor man like George Kittle. George Kittle. He, he likes, um, you know, he's, he's good in stride. He likes, doesn't shy away from contact. He fights for How the fast was he? I don't even remember. He's not the fastest, but like he's an all-around. That's the thing. Like he, he's got good speed. He's like got, his, tape, good his tape, honestly, kind of reminded me of Gronk. Like when he was like running. I was like, yeah, he ain't really too fast. Like, but those are big strides. So did Adam Shaheen. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, and that's, and that's right. Yeah, yeah, Adam Shaheen. You know, Let, let's talk about our other second-round tight end <laughs> that we've taken. Uh, I know, baby Gronk, six-seven skinny boy. Baby Gronk can't stay healthy. But that's, that's what, what I mean. mean. We, we could have got, got that tight end, end later. Uh, if, if you would have moved, moved, if you would have took the defensive player of the year in that corner, corner and had a safety in corner and had locked down that defense, that defense would have been the same for the next three years. I'm, I'm talking about top defense in the league. With, with the, the, the additions of Robert Quinn, who's older, but what he brings to that, that pass rush with Mack and Akeem Hicks and the linebacking he's, core. Of, he's not that old, is he? 30. Five years, seventy million. Oh, I'm ancient, then. Yeah, you're pretty. You guys are more. <laughs> so we take so, Cole Komet. The Bears take Cole Komet at tight end from Notre Dame. Then they take Jalen Johnson or Jackson. Was it? Can't read my own hand. Right Johnson. Right. Uh, yeah. Johnson. Yeah, uh, Johnson. Jalen Johnson, and he's, he's from, from Utah. Utah. He's, he's uh, yeah, Johnson. It's Jalen. Ja- it's Jalen Jackson from Utah. Cornerback from Utah. Jackson, I like, I like it. it. Yeah. Then yeah, we took uh, Travis, got a trash sheet right Travis, there. Travis Gibson, outside linebacker from Tulsa. Kindle Which would be a nice guy to come in and be a change, change of pace, pace for Mac and Quinn. Kindle, best name in the draft. Kindle, how was when when, when was homeboy named? Kindle v- Vildor, cornerback from Georgia Southern. I mean, they say he's his tape looked decent. Then our two-lane wide receiver, Darnell Mo- Mooney, fast looked fast in tape, but dropped everything that came near him. Mm. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's supposed, supposed to be Tyler Gabriel's, Gabriel's replacement, so it'll be smooth. And then uh, 100%. <laughs> Drops. 
And then we drafted two linemen, which both got a D plus last time I checked in the ratings. Yeah, yeah this is kind, kind of bodies shuffling around. We need linemen. Maybe, maybe someone will. Well, the one guy's nickname is, uh, what was it? I think it was Pig, the last guy we took. And the guy before that's last name is Hambright, so they're just calling them Ham and Pig. <laughs> <laughs> it is Jalen Johnson, Johnson, just so, just so you, you know what your shitty handwriting. Just so. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, when you write Jackson, Jackson it looks like Johnson. I could have sworn it was Johnson, and it is. But there were so many good players in the second day that we should have got, like, that we, we could have we gotten instead of that tight end. And and we could if Pace wanted to save his job and look amazing. He could have went and drafted the SEC's Defensive Player of the Year in Grant Delpit, got the same corner in Jalen Johnson and and in at pick fifty, moved back up into that draft in the second round and got Cole Komet and maybe even Jalen Hurt before the the Eagles did. And I would be fucking praising him, saying, look what he did. He got a quarterback of the future, a tight end to grow under fucking Jimmy Graham. He solidified the defense in a, in a corner and a safety. And that offense and defense is, that's a pretty good damn draft. You, you fill in a couple linemen, offensive tackle, and a guard to be interchangeable. And in the sixth, sixth and seventh round, and that's what you need to look forward in the future. Build that old line. You have plenty of skill positions around and, and you're done. Maybe with how deep this receiver draft was, grab a receiver, but... We did. Yeah, I mean, one of the better ones, not in the sixth round or fifth round, whatever it was. Well, and we, we signed... A, there was a couple of receivers we signed, and we also signed Cleo Mack's little brother, who is playing the same position that Mack does. Teach him up, bro. I hope he fucking makes him into another little monster. I, I do see that this team could still be a contender. I do still see we're a few pieces away. It makes me nervous with the quarterback competition with two guys and one-year deals. You, you know, you kind of you kind of don't leave yourself up for anything to look for the future because if neither one of them have it this year, then what? It's a complete rebuild, and we're doing everything we can to try to find a quarterback. Well, here's another question. Either in the draft or – Do you pick up Mitch's fifth year? No. No, not at all. It sucks. He's fucking right. trash. I even everybody knows it. You watch videos online, kids are just making fun of him. You remember that video of ki- uh, there was a kid in the backyard. It was emulating every quarterback. Oh, yeah. Aaron Rodgers. He dropped back through the bo- through the fucking you know the hail mary. Cam the Newton fucking, did the Jordan the, thing. The, by. Yeah, the Cam Newton. He did the you know he he ran in. And, did the fucking thing, and then uh, they did the thing with, they, with the guy. He did the thing, you know. He opened the shirt, showed the Superman fucking logo. You son of a bitch. He did the thing. <laughs> he did all the quarterbacks, and then he went to the basket. He fucking threw the bushes. <laughs> Turn your headset Controller. back on. Your controller's that again. Yes. Admit Trubisky to do it. He overthrew the motherfucker by 10 yards. No, he underthrew uh, no, him. He threw it right in the fucking bushes. <laughs> yeah, right in the bushes. And, I mean... Oh, the bushes. Oh, the bushes. I don't know the bushes. The D got to live in the I would... The D got to I hope some of these guys pan out. Especially if one of the linemen pan out, I'll be happy. But, I don't even know yeah, what that means. Honestly, all I care about is having that phrase, a, phrase come from. Pan out. Gold when you're like flatten? No, pan yeah. out. When I'm pan? What is gold? Pan? Pan? When they're pan when they're searching for gold, they use a pan. Okay, you so you look for gold? And you pan out. Yeah. And it, it panned pans out. out. And there was a bunch of gold in your pan. Yeah. That's that's ex- I don't know if that really is. Someone fucking Google it and fact check us, please. No, no. Sean's hundred percent right. <laughs> I, I mean, he could be. That's what it sounds like, but I'm, I'm like, it's all like it's bullshit. Well, he was around when they were fucking panning and gold. <laughs> I was there when they started that phrase, you son of a bitch, you young whippersnapper. San Francisco 49ers, you son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, fuck. See, this is nah, Sean's 100%, 100% right, though. That's exactly. As soon as he started talking, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to shut up. Cause that's right. yeah, cause that's... <laughs> <laughs> so, 
uh, my my draft winners, if you will, uh, Miami for sure. Miami, Miami really rebuilt. Miami. There's a lot of teams that did so well, dude. How about Gruden just taking all the wide receivers? <laughs> well, what, what did they need last year? Well, they they got to be right. All their eggs. <laughs> In That's like basket. a guy at the club oh, asking no every girl to fuck. One of them's gonna say yeah. One of them's gonna say yeah. One of those receivers are gonna pan out. <laughs> One of them has guaranteed to pan. So they had no wide receivers last year, though. So what did so... they, so they take? They took Henry Ruggs, then they took two other guys with their first. There's a lot of good receivers there this year. Henry Ruggs. I can't wait to see Jerry Judy. I can't wait to see Lamb. I can't wait to see. Oh, God, God, so many. I, I can't, can't see Donovan Peoples-Jones, um, KJ Hamler. I want to uh, see if Chase Young, Higgins. I want to see if Chase Young is going to be as good as everybody thinks he is. I, I think, think that's, that's going to be a scary pass rush, rush on uh, the Redskins because, because excuse me, Montez Sweat on the other side, I mean, you got two kind of big, fast, physical beasts on, on those still edges. still the Redskins, though. It's still the Redskins. You need, you need other things to put it together. And what makes me still nervous about that, and I get that, like they have Sweat and K- Kerrigan, Kerrigan, whatever his name is, the other outside linebacker. Right, yeah. He's a good outside linebacker. So what do they do with him now? Are they going to put him inside? Because you just, you just drafted Brian his Kerrigan replacement. Brian is going to be a situational pass rusher. Yeah, I can see that too. He's got a lot of – there's a lot of mileage on that car. Go ahead, Jeff. It was just it was more of an observation. When are the Redskins going to change their logo now that the Land O'Lakes have taken the Indian off their butter? I don't think that's going to happen. The day after. Never? never. It's, the, it's not really the – I don't think it's just the logo. It's the name Redskins is offensive. They're going to change it to the Caucasians and have a profile of a white guy. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm saying. You can pick, take, drink all this in right now. It's just <laughs> this. <laughs> just come out as a bunch of new teams. The Rams came out with a new logo. It's, 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 a, it's a Ram. Ram a the, Washington, the Washington average Americans. <laughs> the wa- <laughs> the Washington Joe Dirts. Washington, Washington middle class. Just a, a mullet in a shitty beard on the side of a Can't helmet. Wait. That's what I, I'm got to go with on, the shitty beard and the mullet. It's going to get so good. Which if, is anyone, if anyone is interested, go Google uh, uh, Redskins, how the Redskins got their name. It's the most racist shit known to man. Yeah, I, I guarantee it is. It is. Google it. I Googled it, and it said you're drunk. <laughs> you're all out of order. I'm the, I'm the <laughs> fucking browser. Browser knows I'm hammered. <laughs> oh, God. What when are you did drinking you over there? When What's the 50 50 50s of the day? day? Um, so, 50% ice, 50% uh, Tito's, as usual. And then I have water and a, uh, what is it? Mio? Yeah, but it's like a blueberry pomegranate. Okay, I'm, I'm just asking him what, what color it is. He doesn't care. He just it's wants purple. This is purple. It looks brown. Ice vodka purple. Ice vodka purple. There we go. That's how you mix the drinks. How many of you had Oh, this? shit. Like, when did you mm-hmm. start? When did you start drinking? I don't know. I ate this morning. <laughs> Were you having a little keg and eggs? <laughs> nah. I just, I just get ready. ready. You just get ready for the draft all day. You know, you knew it was gonna be real bad. So. <laughs> <laughs> I had to drink myself sober. No, I had to walk you guys off the ledge, though. Especially you, Francis. I mean, oh, I was pretty upset. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm still, still pretty upset with it. But don't you don't. Wrong. I. You don't know. Well, I. Right. I, I used know. to get. I used to get so excited. I used to look at like third round picks, be like, dude, they got this safety. He's a hard fucking hitter, blah, blah, blah. And then he would never see the fucking field, ever. I yeah. learned my lesson over years of drafts to just see what happens. It's exciting, though. I enjoy to watch someone in college and their combines and their tape and say, I think that this guy would excel at the next level. You or like I think the he would be a good addition to our team. And, you know, 
And then right, yeah, you, can tell, you can tell some guys some guys just fucking have it. You know? Some, some guys, guys really right. do. Just well, fucking well, have it. Our perfect example, and I know we're getting close to the end here, past it. Well, well, this is we're way past it, back dude. Now. This is this is this is the draft show now. I know we're dealing with your drunkenness. The, the okay. eight years ago or whatever, when when uh, Aaron Donald was coming out in the draft, and I said that that guy should have been a top three to five talent, and Khalil Mack was in that draft. And Khalil Mack was falling to like five or whatever when the Raiders took him, and I was like, the Bears were at twelve or they were at fourteen, and the the, the Rams took Aaron Donald at twelve right before us when they didn't need him. You know how excited I was watching that draft, seeing a player like that? And I said, Aaron Donald, we need a defensive tackle. He's going to be the guy. He's going to fall to us. This well, guy he picked before us, right? Right? Yes, pick he right did. Before us? Well, two picks before us. As we were, yeah, and we were going through all of it. Draft I thought well, dude, sure. look at Chandler Jones has been a dominant pass rusher in the league for years. And Shane that's McClellan. the draft we took Shane McClellan before. Shane right? McClellan, the pick before. Yep. One of those when you see these things, it's like when you see a quarterback who's got multiple national championships and all the tape shows he's a great quarterback and you have the third pick overall and you move up to the second pick to get your guy and you take a guy from a one-year experience. And that's what I'm saying. Like Cole Clement, I was saying earlier before we started talking about him, he's got three years under his belt. One year was three catches for like fucking 30 yards. The next year was like... 10 Playing catches for tight end heavy Notre Dame. I get it, but what I'm saying is this guy's got one good year under his belt, and we went ahead and used our first pick that we had on him when there was the hey, SEC. It's better, it's better than the yeah. seventh overall pick. Hey, we moved up to the number two pick to pick a guy that only had one year of experience. That's what I'm saying. That's the problem with it. Like, I, if the, you know how much better the Bears would be sitting if you were to take logic? Like you said, you don't know what's going on. But if all the signs are pointing to, hey, Deshaun Watson is going to be a fucking great starter in the NFL for years to come, you have a pick before anyone else that it needs a quarterback, take this quarterback, and you'll be okay. Hey, you have the defensive player of the year who fell all the way to you to your first pick. Why would you not take it at a position that you need compared why to taking a backup to a why, tight end? Why do you think players uh, slip or go, go up? Or both? Because, because, and, and, and don't, don't get me wrong, wrong I, 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 use this, I use this same, same philosophy mostly right every year. year. I, 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 believe believe in going, I believe in drafting, drafting a tight end, end early in fantasy, fantasy football, football because it's, it's a small depleted no, 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 lot. Not fans. They used the, the same technology to this draft. draft. Right. There, there was one, one good tight end that was better than the rest, and then we drafted him. I, I don't think I don't agree is because, because um, he, he said, said take, take the, the best player available. Right, which is the best player of the year who fell because not a lot of teams needed a safety like that, and he's showing it for two years that he could be the best player in the SEC on defense. And he could have stepped into this defense and been an absolute contributor, a starter for the next four years for sure. And instead, you went and got a tight end that's going to play a backup role to Jimmy Graham, who you just overpaid and gave way too much money to and in a no-trade contract at 30-plus years old when there's other tight ends that were out there like Austin Hooper and Eric Ebron and Hunter, Hunter Henry got franchised. But still... We That's weren't going we were to spend the money for that boy, for Hunter Henry. No, Sean, not a Sean, shot. the money for old Jimmy Graham and overpaid. What do you think is the biggest thing teams fuck up on? Do you think they just get they just get too fucking sight, excited about a guy, or they don't want to look like the fucking think, butt of the joke? I think a lot like of times want, it's blinders. Like everybody's like, okay, Jamarcus Russell. Hands down, number one pick, best quarterback to come out of college and can throw the ball 80 yards sitting down. Can't beat, Boss. can't miss prospect. But did you look at the intangibles? How did he right. do in class? Did he go to class? Did he have anything happen outside, you know, outside of school? Did he have any issues like that? Was he stealing crab legs then throwing 30 interceptions <laughs> in a <laughs> – <laughs> I still would take Jason, uh, uh, James Winston right now. 
But it's you have to look at the intangibles of a player. I think it. I think in the GM's mind, they want to so bad find the guy who no one else saw. That is their biggest weakness. They want the diamond yeah, in the rough. Everyone said I want to the fight tight end. He's not a diamond in the rough. He's the best tight end in this class. Well, not very many. There was only two or three behind him that were good athletes, but they weren't all around good tight ends. You know why he took it? What was our biggest problem and biggest need that he went and tried to correct and fucked up with Trey Burton? Tight end. This offense needs a tight end, so he went to go to solidify and say, I took care of the tight end position. I went and got a veteran in Jimmy Graham, and I drafted the best tight end of the draft, and now we're going to move on. But you know what? If this guy ends up being a bust and you leave the defensive player of the year at safety when we don't have a safety, that's what I'm saying is what it shows. Just it's negligence of the team. Now he doesn't I want, want to backlash. backlash. I want to see what free agents get picked up now after the draft is over. Can't I want, wait. I want to see where Cam Newton goes. I want to see where Jameis Winston goes. 100%. I cannot believe. I'm Des, Des Bryant, Bryant, like, like set, set out, out the whole year last year. Last year. Like, is, is he, he done, done or what? what? Percy Harvin said he wants to come out of retirement. retirement. Did you see the that video of Percy Harvin? That guy another headache. He, he, he's <laughs> got one right, right now. now. He has one right, right now. now. What, what are you talking about? <laughs> Did you see? He was open and said I was high as fuck, fuck every, every time, time I've ever played, played on an NFL, NFL field. field. He was completely, completely open, open with that. that. And now that they can smoke the weed. He smoked weed to cure his migraines. Bullshit. Now that they have it, now that it's cleared... Why not? He's but running. Not he's, he's, he's running Giants, dude. It, in the new CBA, bro, they don't test for fucking marijuana anymore. Oh wow! Oh, I actually test for Great. They they do. Do. Deer antler. Deer antler piss. They, yeah, they, yeah, they test for all the PEDs. You can be high, but no hard penis. Do you remember that whole thing? Fucking. There's always some story. You remember when the the Ravens went to the Super Bowl the last time? It was, the, and, uh, it was deer antler. Ray Lewis was taking yeah. deer, deer antler. antler fucking shit. There. Like, well, yeah, you take the shit that's sitting at the gas station. If you take enough of it, it's like taking fucking speed or meth or whatever. You're gonna be invincible bro. You do for not about speak hours. bad God about Jones gas station was dick pills. From the UFC for how long for taking gas, gas station, station dick, dick pills? pills. <laughs> right. And with that being said. Gas station dick pills is where we're gonna leave and you. Here comes another hour of oh, fantasy God. football. <laughs> Woo! Uh, for Jeff. Fuck you, Ryan Pace. Give me a job. <laughs> for Frank and <yeah, laughs> Sean. Thanks for coming into the den. Don't forget to cheese them tits. <laughs> I miss everyone. We miss everybody. I wanna touch it? <laughs> You're sure now. <laughs> <laughs> shop.spreadshirt.com b hyphen backslash and right now everyone's dead everyone right now wants to touch it all right let me get out of this before jeff gets us kicked off of the internet if you're bald